imported from the finest chandeliers are us, I'm sure. Hey, this looks like something. A cable running the length of the center? Must be connecting the antenna outside to something under us. The hidden laboratory, I presume? Call them casters in the army. It's a radio with a broader range. It'll work on on that lock back in Garland. Radio locks. Oh, awesome. Hey, uh, I'm starting to get a little nervous about us being here for so long. My walkie's a little... It's acting up right now, for whatever stupid reason, but, uh... I'm feeling like maybe we should do a sweep of their channel just to see if they're close. Wanna pull out your walkie and check? Just a thought. Shelly, you ever heard of parentage? Oh, oh, Lord. God, yes. I have heard of the f effing parentage. Sorry. On duty. Try to monitor the language. The number of times I've had to deal with their naked forest dancing ceremonies. It's like, okay, wanna dance naked? Cool. That's why God invented backyards. Over. There was this one member, though. She died a few years back. I don't know. Wasn't so hippy dippy. More a uh, scary Harry. More scary than. Did she also dance naked? Well, they all dance naked at some point. She hated parentage more than me, but she was still a member. Just some bog standard old lady complaining about how the old ways were dying out. Kids these days. The usual tap dance. I had to drive her back home once after she twisted her ankle during one of their naked dance offs. The story she told. That's when it started to get scary. A long history of naked dancing? Not quite. Parentage wasn't, uh, wasn't always bird watching, if you read me. Apparently its founders were a lot less into naked dancing. And a lot more into fire. And bodies. But, pin in that, I gotta do a quick walk around. There are sleeping skunks in this area, and they're not fond of talking alarm clocks. Check back later. Over and out. Yeah, great. Cross your fingers, there's not just a bunch of old blankets down there. <coughs> oh, sorry. The dust is getting to me. But yeah, jackpot. God, look at this stuff. That's a Rhino 320. Oh, control board for the station. Check out the antenna cord going up through the floor. She would have won beauty contests in 1978, but not so much now. Okay, let's, uh, let's smash it. Or, uh, something. It just can't be functional when Olivia gets here. What do you want to use? Man, it's a shame to just wreck it, you know? Doing the Lord's work is never easy. <laughs> no, it is not. I guess the cult members will need to get their traffic updates from some other source now. Let me tell you, that felt a little good. Where 
I lied a you? lot. You hear that? Is, is, it wasn't in your shed. Yeah, keep no. quiet. You I want to hear this. Be in your shed. It wasn't in the shed because he doesn't keep it in the shed. Wait, Olivia, I thought we were here to broadcast the... Yes, we're here to cancel out their stupid transmitter array. If we don't also fix our antenna, locking out their signal will help us. And your uncle has a, a toolbox somewhere? He did at one point, but now I go to keep them in the office. Why would your uncle have a tool? I think they're to trying to get something antenna? to fix their antenna. He's an electrician. That's what he does. It's his job. Electricians fix this kind of thing? No, but he has the battery we need and a wrench. Uh, okay. Just trust me. Right out. Don't touch anything. A lot of stuff's been blessed by Earthshine, and your grubby little fingerprints can ruin it. Okay. Do you want us to look for stuff, or do you want us to not touch anything? Cause one... Just be careful. We need to get what we need to get and go. Bad luck even being in here without a steward. What are they looking for again? A small, gray toolbox. It has a smiley face sticker on it. We just need it, believe me. What was that? Ah, oh, crap. Is is that? Riley, are you in here? Okay, let's take a breath. Take a breath? You're standing in time devotional, you disgusting piece of garbage! Do you have any idea where you are? This building, these walls, are sacrosanct. Okay, I know you're upset, Olivia, but let's talk, okay? We're here, let's talk. Talk? <laughs> I don't talk to earthworms. Earthworms wouldn't be able to understand. Understand what? What are you even trying to do? Is parentage... Parentage has no idea I'm even here. My aunt and uncle are clueless. They never approve of the ceremony. It's off chart. I'm taking it myself. Olivia. Charlie, take them down. You have your knife, right? My knife? Are you kidding me? You brought it! To, like, cut branches. Oh, just shut the hell up, Olivia. Guys, don't listen to her. She's out of control. Charlie, focus up! Don't listen to their bullcrap! Come on! She was nice to me before. What does that even mean? Nice? Charlie, there's nobody here that can make you do anything you don't want to do. I gave you a second chance at the waterfall. Show me you earned it. I... God. Olivia, I'm... Olivia, I... I don't like this. Who gives a crap what you like? I... I don't. I'm not quitting, but... But what, Violet? So okay, I took... all of you are coming with me, understand? March. Olivia? She has no power over us. You have nothing over us. Tonight is the blue moon. Yanis is aligned. Don't you get it? This is once every 10, no, 20 years. Once this is done, we're all set. Absolutely nothing is going to- I'm, Hold on. I'm sorry, Olivia, but I'm out. <laughs> what? I just don't know what this is going to do anymore. You know what it's going to do. It's going to do everything. Olivia. In many forms of games, being out of bounds refers to being outside the available playing area and can result in severe penalties. Shut up! Right. Please. Please. Oh. Hello. Please. Oh. Enough. Hello. You will not triumph. You will not reach even if we must push you out. Hey! Whoa. They're turning off the power. Hey, come on. Turn that back on. God damn it. Olivia, what? Hey, lady, I don't know what the f you think you're doing here, but this ain't your house! Huh? Look, it's an ensign. What do those little triangles do again? Oh, great. Olivia, find, find, and see. And we can shelter you. It's a particle of grace. Luna is speaking to us. Wait, Olivia. If you both want out, then go. I know my place in this universe. Wait, Olivia, stop! Crap, Riley, we have to stop her. Get her radio. Damn it! Wait! Oh. Ah. Oh. Violet, move! Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I...
be extinguished by the likes of you. I will see my parents again. I will get to Planet Shine, and you will be beholden to the power of Ascendance! Riley! Riley, wait, I think we... Jacob? This sucks, right? It sucks. You hate it, I hate it. Nobody wants to see their friends possessed. Nobody wants to feel trapped. I'm sorry, tonight's progressed to the point where I can speak a little more freely. My name's Alex. Uh, Alex? Yeah, Alex. Named after my great-grandmother, Alexandra. We were teenagers. Like Olivia and her friends. And we were trapped between spaces between time, I, events, and then my understanding back then. Now, though, we found Olivia. Or rather, she found us. And she will be our key to coming back. She doesn't want to live here anymore, Riley. You have to understand, it's a fair trade. Our time for hers. It's what she wants. What about all that taking my future stuff? Do you want to switch places or something? Or something. Your plan with the transmitters is a good one. It is. It might just stop us, if that's what you want. Do you know what you want, Riley? Do you? Because I've traveled a million miles and a million more years just to watch you eat breakfast. Uh, 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 all right, uh, the, that, that was real, right? I was just... Uh... That was... real. Yes. God. All this time, I thought it was the submarine. I thought... I thought that everything was just them. That they were the beings Olivia was talking to. But it's kids. It's just kids. It, it, it's kids that go to Kimina High. That probably did lawn work for their parents. I, I don't know. It just changes things. But they're really stuck. And we're fighting them off? It just... It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe any of this is really happening. Jacob, this doesn't change anything. Whether or not they were in study hall or worried about boys or grounded when they died, they're still the same beings that have been messing with us all night. And we'll destroy things, destroy other lives if we don't act. Yeah. Y yeah, I know. It's, it's just... a lot. Okay. Never mind. Garland, right? That's the last location? We should head out, because Olivia teleported away, and God knows where she's going. I mean, she was a problem before, but now this is really a problem. Yeah, we should go. Could we... Sorry, but, but could, could we just take a breather for a second here? Okay, not opportune, I know, but, like, I gotta take a second. Yeah, that's a good idea. Our brains will thank us someday. Brains, lungs, knees, the works. So, parentage is just moon-gazing and yoga mats. That's good to know, I guess. They actually remind me of another group like them. The Migration? I remember when they were pitching tents in the 90s. But the actual act? The natural act? Migration. Pretty interesting. How baby birds do it instinctively. So sometimes programming, like bird programming, has a glitch. And birds will actually fly north, you know, instead of south. And the ones that do, they, you know, they hook up. And suddenly, we have a whole new generation of birds going the wrong way. You know, I wonder about the other birds, the ones flying the natural way, when they see birds going in the opposite direction. And I just wonder how many of them change their mind, turn around. 
I wonder how many of them find a different way. <sighs> you know, this reminds me of that story. I'm pregnant. Uh, beg pardon? I found out before I took the job. I'm two months. And your hearing is fine. That it is. Uh, congratulations? I'm sorry, is this a balloons and yay type of thing? Or, uh, let me, uh, yeah, let me know there. No balloons. Copy that. Uh, okay. I am understanding more why you'd want to take this job. Security, you know? I had a sense of security. Maybe you're planning to move back. I don't know. Actually, actually, I'm gonna... I don't know why I'm talking so much. So, I'm just gonna take one colossal, uh, metaphorical step back and let you drive our, uh, little chat here. Starting now. Step taken. You can look to ask whatever you want. It's fine. Uh, if you don't already know, which one would you prefer? A boy or a girl? I, I have no idea when you can, you know, uh, identify. Speaking honestly, I'd prefer a girl. But something tells me I'm going to be disappointed in that department. And, uh, any names? And if I'm prying, please say so. I'll just immediately stop talking. Absolutely no idea. Yeah, uh, you probably don't want to paint yourself into a name corner, you know? So, uh, bird's eye, how do you, you know, feel overall about it? About, uh, them? I'm hopeful. I am. I should probably be worried. And, you know, part of me is very worried, incredibly worried, but hope is still winning. Well, it should stay that way. Uh, uh, maybe this is weird, but, um, thanks for telling me. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Not many now. Lucky me. Boy, night of surprises. But it's, uh, it's nice to have one that's different, in the good way. Come on, one last transmitter. I think I know a good spot. How did my night go from wondering just how many different lights can pop up on my dash to being scared of the power of a radio? That's like not a thing to be scared of. Hmm. So either that's a new species of bird we're naming after me or that is a phone ringing uh, somewhere. Fingers crossed for the former. Okay, we just hit a major bingo square. A payphone ringing in the wild? I should go inside and buy a lottery ticket. Oh, d dude, you better be packing hand sanitizer. Uh, hello? Concern? Alarm? What cause for alarm? What concern? Not to. Cabin. Or my own and form of my love sister. Wait, are you are are you saying the park ranger will die or? Talks to a mess attendant about... Adventure. 
That must have been about the park ranger. That message on her answering machine was trying to lead us here, so we would tell her something. It sounded like, at least. We should call her on the walkie, let her know what happened. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a good idea. I think yours is the stronger connection, so whenever you want. Ranger Shelley, it's Riley, over. Riley, hey, find out anything about that answering machine message I got? Over. Long story shrunk, we got a weird phone call and um, we got some sort of a warning and I think it was directed at you. So maybe think about not leaving your station for the rest of the night, over. Well, crud. You said I shouldn't leave the station anymore? I was just about to... <sighs> I was just about to go do a check on another distress call. Do you, do you, do you not think I should go? I sound stupid just asking, but I don't know. Don't go, Shelly. Seriously, it's not worth the risk. I'd listen to it. Over. Uh, this is so dumb, but oh, okay, sure. Sure, fine, fine. I'm, I'll stay put. I can radio in some support from other stations, see if they can cover. Uh, I hope this isn't some... I just hope this is something real. Okay, Riley. Radio if you need anything. And thanks for this. Over and out. These feel a little more considered than random stray thoughts, but okay, Maggie. Yeah, we should be able to open this lock now with our newfangled radio, just like we did with the one Parentage was using. Oh, great. We got lucky there. You know, it always blows my mind that someone had to uh, invent the bridge. Like, I know they happen naturally, lightning hits a tree and it falls down and all that. But at least once, at one point, there was some guy looking at a river going, Hey, wait a second. We can just go over it. They, uh, they put this one up in the late 1800s. I guess that's why I'm thinking about it. How people must have looked at it, the bridge. And for some people, it was their only way to work. Maybe it was where they had their first kiss, right? A first fist fight, where they proposed. But now, that bridge doesn't mean anything. It's just, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It just makes you think, I don't want to live forever. But I don't want to die forever either. You know what I mean? 
I don't want to be actual nothing, you know? But an eternal consciousness is just as scary. Oh, come on. Who could possibly forget you? You're a... You know... Jacob Summers. Disheveled fix-it man for hire. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, hey, see that? Not the church, but the behind the church. It's part of the old mine system. We could probably get up there if we find the other end of the tunnel. Which, you know, big if. I feel like you literally pointed past a more obvious choice. What I mean is that the ledge up there seems like the best spot to drop a transmitter. To me. But full transparency, I honestly just wanted to suggest a plan A before it became, let's climb the rickety church tower. Maybe you have other ideas. Yep, I'm on board. Let's find the other end. Hey, you're the one with the transmitters. What is this? Uh, broken? I'm not 100% sure what it used to be, but that doesn't look functional. Huh, I think I've seen one of these before. Uh, it's a weird looking weird thing, Jacob. Please don't touch it. Oh, I'm, I'm not. Broken or not, who knows if it's grounded. I'm just curious. I wonder what that cable is connected to and what it's for. Eighteen forty eight to eighteen ninety two, eighteen seventy to eighteen ninety two, eighteen sixty one to eighteen ninety two. Almost all of these over here died in eighteen ninety two. Yeah, similar story over here. Something bad, I guess. Gold Rush era town. I wonder what happened. Okay, this is how my mind works. I just remembered something. Knock, knock. Who's there? Howie. Howie who? How are we gonna hide this dead body? Yeah, that was uh, beautiful. I know. Just trying to lighten the... Never mind. This is some kind of equipment. Uh, I can't tell what it's monitoring. Huh. I think I've seen one of these before. Could Olivia have planted this? Oh, I don't know. Maybe? I just don't know how this would help her. wonder what that cable is connected to, and what it's for. Check it out, another one. The last one was helpful. Maybe whatever's inside, this one will be too. Or uh, whenever's inside. Another one of these things. No, this one's not on either. Who could have left these here? Why are there so many, uh, wires, cords, cables, whatever, leading into that building? This isn't open still, right? No, no way. And they look, uh, fresh? Sure, we'll, we'll call them fresh. Either someone was here recently, or someone is here presently. Huh, I wonder why. Yeah, beats me. Garland Post Office, established 1878. Jesus! Hey, if you're in the post office and you're a human being, uh, answer this, huh? please. Who's that? Hello? You heard that on the walkie, there? right? How the hell should I know? Being, answer, what please? is all this crap? I'm seeing a uh, lot of wires. Uh, hi. Y yes, I'm, I'm a human. Yeah, of course you are. At least tell me you didn't break my equipment. Over. I, uh, don't think this? we broke anything. Okay, okay. I re Name's Hank Chapman, and I just took your picture. Assuming you were facing the camera. Otherwise, it'll be the wall. Uh, kind of rude, right? 
Most folks prefer some degree of permission. Over. Well, I'm not looking to get pictures of most folks. Listen, I'm an amateur hobbyist investigator broadcasting to as many frequencies. And I don't know if you've noticed, but tonight has been... The professionals would likely call it unusual. Around town, I've set up a series of EMF boosters. Equipment I use to capture, well, let's call it evidence of the unusual. Something's been screwing with them, so I need them checked. Hello? This is important. No, pal, I'm a turtle. Sorry to disappoint you. Did you break my equipment? Over. Uh, no, wait, what's all this stuff for, exactly? Over. Name's Hank Chapman, and I just took your picture. Assuming you were facing the camera. Otherwise, it'll be the wall. Well, aren't you the lucky one? I usually charge for headshots. Over. That flash wasn't meant for you. Listen, I'm an amateur hobbyist investigator of the inexplicable. And I don't know if you've noticed, but tonight has been... The professionals would likely call it unusual. Around town, I've set up a series of EMF boosters. Equipment I use to capture, well, let's call it evidence of the unusual. Something's been screwing with them, so I need them checked. One of them is outright not responding. I'm assuming the worst. Can you help me out? Sure, you got it. It's a... Now, there's a generator in the post office with you that powers the boosters. Think of the EMF boosters like a safe. You put in the right code, you get to see what's inside. If you spot anything, maybe snap a picture. If you can, I'll make it worth your while. Call if you have any trouble. See you in the obit. Over and out. I think he's talking about this thing, right? It says EMF on the side here. You think this could help us? Eh, you know, Hank seems like a, I want to say a nice guy, but these EMF booster things, it's a fun pet project for him, but unless they're going to help us plant this transmitter, I say let's ignore it and try the mines. Yeah, agreed. Let's just ignore it. I uh, think that came from outside. Hank mentioned grabbing a picture. I've got my camera with me. Let's see if we find anything flashworthy. I see benches and some kind of weird flag with a pickaxe. NWMA Garland chapter. Oh, okay. I think I can guess. No, no. Northwestern. Miners. Uh, um, miners because of the flag. And because, you know, Garland. Uh, Alliance? Northwestern Mining Alliance? Maybe. I'm sure I read the name in eighth grade Oregon State History. Lost to me now. This hall now stands as a permanent memorial to the 12 brave souls who lost their lives during the collapse of Latimer Mine Shaft A. Dedicated by the families of the dead on this day of February 7th, 1892. Forever in solidarity. <sighs> Northwest Miners Association. Thank you, Mrs. Staley. Almost all of these over here died in 1892. It's locked up tight. These chains aren't budging. Hmm. And we can't get through the mine either. Huh. I, I think the only thing left we can do is check out Hank's weird equipment. Maybe futzing with those might affect something? I, I don't know. I'm reaching. No, no, that that's as good an idea as any. I, let us futz and find uh, a, one of his boosters. Andrew Rhines, Postmaster, 1878 to 1903. Must have been the first. Huh? Oh, right. First postmaster for the town. Yeah, that makes sense. Why they'd hang a picture. 
1878. Wow. Kinda got some Teddy Roosevelt vibes. He looks more easygoing though. Tragedy. Twelve lives claimed in deadly mine shaft collapse. Latimer Mines no longer in operation. Garland mourns its greatest enterprise alongside 12 cherished sons. Ugh. From 1892. I guess that's when things started to go downhill. Yep. Hey, Shelly, I want to know more about parentage. Oh, hey, Riley. I, I just finished the skunk spill. Okay, parentage. I mean, this is secondhand off someone who smelled like they were carved from gin, but still. So I guess parentage goes back like centuries, and a good few of them. There was this freak lightning storm once over Edwards Island, just out of nowhere. This was right in the middle of a wicked drought, so as soon as lightning touched ground, everything caught on fire. And every one. Hundreds of skeletons. At least, that they were able to count. Hard to get a proper number out of Ash. Over. Uh, so someone decided to make a religion out of this? Well, this is where it goes from bananas to nuts, depending on your definitions. Apparently, during that fire, this, like, thing showed up in the sky. Like this, I don't know, shape. The woman was mighty slurry at this point. Something opened in the sky and showed paradise on the other side, while the earth below it was an actual burning hell. A triangle, or... I don't know, she was just shy of intelligible. Over. Like of a tall tale. I was captivated. I mean, once I got past the belching every other sentence. A vision of paradise. Just that, there and gone. An open and shut door. Those who survived called that vision Planet Shine. and decided to form a group to recreate it. And thus, parentage was born, with ash on their tongues. Over. How'd they get that name? Search me on that one. My mom is, like, weirdly obsessed with Frankenstein, so... People are freaks, you know? The old lady told me that for, like, years and years after, they tried to recreate that night. As best they could. So, no lightning, but... Plenty of fire. And... Plenty of bodies. For years. Over. Some people didn't, you know, catch them in the act or something? I'm sure they did, and I'm sure they were set on fire. The long and short of it, it never happened again. People dropped out, membership went kaput, the thing, uh, ran its course. A couple of diehards, but no more, you know, bodies. No more sacrifices. No more ash. Over. Well, I, I mean, you say that, but what about the old lady? Clearly, not everyone changed their minds. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. I don't know. There are people who think indoor plumbing is a mortal sin, so... You're always gonna find one hanger-on, I guess. But their history. The, you know, the corpses. Lost to the ages. Well, except for one slurring grandmother in a back seat. Anyway, don't believe everything you read. I'm getting a call, so see you when I hear you. Over and out. Hey, things are, uh, different? Wow, okay, th th that, that must be what the boosters do. Oh my god. Amazing. Riley, this is amazing, look! Like, Mother Earth, man, she is no slouch. It smells a lot better, too. Yeah, I should have just left it alone. 
Oh, this is much better looking than any hardware store. Most hardware stores, sure, but I've seen some lookers. You'd be surprised. The entrance is, or was, here, but I guess the mine wasn't open yet. Not very helpful, unless you've got any spare dynamite. Praise your things. Ah, uh, wouldn't you know it, I used my last bit of C4 on a bank robbery three weeks ago. Rats. Uh, okay, this thing had to be blown open at some point, so let's just keep trying. Long look. I know we got a job to do, but like, this is unbelievable. Wasn't too shabby when she had uh, townsfolk, huh? Ugh, makes the abandonment all the more tragic. Yeah, it feels strange to see it up and running. Or running, in quotes. Let's look around. Differences are pretty subtle, but yeah, we must be close to our own time. This place looks just as abandoned. Maybe the mine's open. Let's check it out. Hmm, looks about the same. Awesome. It's it's open, see? Oh, thank God. It's rare I get to feel this smart. Yes, accomplishment is a nice feeling. Let's head up top. Shouldn't take long.
This is a random question, but what made you move away? From a Kimina, I mean. After high school. Um, my dad. Our relationship seemed beyond repair, and so I wanted to make a clean break of it. Yeah. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. I don't know why I keep thinking about that. Maybe because, as a kid, I wanted to be treated like an adult, but without growing up. I'm sure most kids feel like that. I want to stay up all night and do whatever I want, but I don't want any bills to pay. Uh, I always felt older. So when I hit my 30s, I felt like that existential exhaustion finally caught up with my body. There's just something about Garland. How the town just couldn't keep up with history. It must make me babble about all this stuff, because I never left Kamina. And sometimes I wonder if I should've. My life would be really different. Moving away doesn't make anything easier, let me tell you from experience. Well, yeah, but it makes things different, which is something. I just always hated that expression, but nobody wants to die. It says nobody wants to do the work, to find enlightenment. Well, enlightenment's hard goddamn work, okay? No shame in sticking to what you know. Just, I want to say thanks. Thanks for letting me help tonight. This feels like the most worthwhile thing I've done in a very long time. Hey, anytime. Though also, hopefully, you know, never again. <laughs> oh, hey, I think, I think this is it. Great view, right? Sad city, great view. I'd take a picture, but... Just watch where you're stepping, okay? I don't think this complies with OSHA guidelines. I don't think this thing has railings, so... You know what? The top of the chapel's the better bet. Higher, less obstructed, let's do it. You were right earlier, I just didn't see it. Someday, maybe you'll forgive me. Come on, climb time. Oh, cool maneuver. If I tried that, my spine would fall out of my body. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'll feel it tomorrow when I can't get out of bed. Oh, uh, sorry. Do, do you smell that? Uh... Uh, you mean the trees? No, not... I didn't smell it before, but that's rot. That's... Whew. Oh, that's bad wood rot. Yeah, hurry up and stick the transmitter uh, so we... Ah! Jacob! God. Jacob! Can you... Can you hear me? Jacob? Jacob, please, say something, make a noise. Jesus, how tall is this place? Oh my God. Doesn't this look familiar? And 
here we go, yet again. Let me be able to fix this. Jacob, are you okay? Is anything broken? Just, 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 wait. Oh, the board gave way, didn't it? Oh. Eesh, are you, uh, okay? Yeah, I'm, mm, fine. It didn't feel like that far of a fall. It's like I just taken a header off a chair or something. Are you okay? Like, you look okay, but still checking. I'm not the one who just fell through the roof. Yeah, but, you know... Manners. God, Miss Adler would be pretty pissed at me if she knew I'd broken into this church. She, uh, always said not to wander around Garland and get a disease. Sorry. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Can we just do that, please? <sighs> yeah, let's get back up and get that transmitter going. Okay. Okay, okay. We're back. Let's plant this thing before anything else, before a horde of gremlins drag us off into the night. Yep. Let's do it. And after the transmitter's planted, that should be it, right? The portal should close. I'll believe it when I stop smelling death everywhere. Yeah. Is that it? 
did we do it? It seems better, right? I think so. I think we did it. I think... I think we really did it. You can almost taste the difference. Finally. Man, Riley. We are just extraordinarily lucky this work. If you hadn't been here at the exact right time, at this exact right spot, with these exact right transmitters, I don't know what would have happened. God, probably like four in the morning. There's a lot of stuff to sort through, like what to do about anything that's happened. But I don't know about you, I think we earned the rest of the night off. I mean, the storm lifted, right? We should go to the docks, see about getting you a hotel. I'd offer my own place, but I don't know. You saw it. Not exactly pristine. Honestly, Jacob, I just need a damn couch. Hey, you can use mine. I just have to... I, I should clean the uh, cover, though, first. I accidentally spilled gasoline on the, uh, the, uh, cushions. Yeah, okay, well, uh, I already got a hotel through the school, or, uh, my employer. If the walkie works, the phone might. I can call a ride. Sounds good. Town's back this way. Let's get rambling. Imagine what she's thinking, how mad she is, how, I don't know, she must just feel so defeated. In some small way, I wish it actually worked out for her. <laughs> I probably sound... You sound exactly how you should sound. You sound like someone tired. Look, tonight was something else. You should be proud how you handled it. I'm proud of how you handled it. I don't know what I would have done without you here. Hey, it was you too, Jacob. You're a part of this too. Oh, go on. <laughs> I'm actually... I'm worried about Athena. And we just... We never found her, you know? I don't know. I just I keep picturing her waiting for me, wagging her tail on the porch. I really hope she's there. Hey, let's make a deal. You walk me to the docks. I'll come out tomorrow morning, first thing, and help you look. Okay, deal. Let's uh, head back to the docks. Time to close out, you know. 